I spent the last six years of my life dreaming about this day. The day I finally get to head out on my year-long solo traveling adventure. Now I'm not being dramatic, it really has been six years. I was supposed to leave September 2020 right after I graduated university, but we all know how that turned out. I decided to move home and get a job. I worked for two years and never lost sight of this goal. Back in 2015, I made this map with my dad. I brought it around to all my university houses and I set it up right above my desk. It's not very pretty or aesthetically pleasing, so I've thought many times about taking it down. But in a very cliche way, it was like my vision board. Every day working from home, I would sit under it and occasionally I'd look up and dream about the place I wanted to go. I know this sounds stupid, but I did, and it kept me motivated. I knew that as soon as it was safe to travel again, I'd be heading out, and with a lot more money than I originally planned. That brings us to today, June 15th. I'm finally heading out on my year-long solo traveling adventure. I'm so excited. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, nervous, had FOMO, unsure. But I know this is something that I needed to do in my life. And there's no better time than to do it right now. So let's fly to London. It's finally here. It's Wednesday, June 15th. I'm finally leaving to go on my trip that I've been planning for years. I just finished getting everything ready, packed up downstairs. I'm just sitting in my room and just looking around, thinking about all the past two years every day sitting at this desk thinking about this trip. So it's surreal. I think I'm too stressed to be nervous, even though I know I kind of am. But anyways, I gotta go to my flight. I'm first flying to Vancouver. My flight's at 5.50. Um, I get into Vancouver at 6. 20, and then I'm going straight from Vancouver to London at 8.15. So I get in at 5.25 a.m. local time here, 1.25 p.m., so it's afternoon there. And then I'm gonna bus to go meet Shayla at their house. And to be honest, I haven't really looked into that, so that might be interesting with all my stuff, but I'm really looking forward to it. I just hope I packed everything right and that I'm not, that everything's gonna work out. Um, it's kind of too late to go back now, so um, gotta leave in like 15 minutes, so. Here's my room, bye. Now that I'm looking back. Got my favorite snacks and a croissant with ham and cheese. I'm really sad because I was supposed to go. I was gonna go to Tim Hortons with my parents, but it wasn't open. So I just came in like two hours till I have to board. So hungry, I gotta find something to eat. <clears throat> so far so good, my one to Vancouver was a bit delayed, but we're good. This is a hike. Hike to this gate. It's not the end, it's not the worst, but I'm so thirsty and I need some dinner. Lots of emotions. But, I don't know, I like haven't really been feeling emotional about it. I thought I was going to be way more sad to leave than I was. Yeah, I've just felt really dissociated from the fact I'm leaving. It's really weird. I'm like watching myself hug all my friends goodbye, my family, but I don't actually feel anything. I don't know. It's, I, it's hard to explain. I'm, I don't know. I, I've been explaining myself better on TikTok. So, if you want to follow me on TikTok, I make TikToks every day. So. Anyways, I'm starting to sweat and my back hurts. I'm gonna go sit down because I got about five minutes before I have to start boarding or before we start boarding. So I will see you on the plane and then in London.
tragic. My first international trip ever was to London and it was on this exact same trip. Thank you for to London and I was with my family. It was my first time ever being to Europe and I just loved it so much. So I'm just thinking about that a lot. It's 1.40. I just hiked all the way up this goddamn hill because I thought that's where Shayla's house was and it's the other direction. I just took three buses or three trains. I'm sweaty as ever. This bag is pissing me off. Oh my God. It wasn't supposed to be a nine minute walk. It's now 20. Oh. Did that work? Oh my god, I'm supposed to press that. I'm stupid. Shayla, come on. Oh, of course. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. I'll come down. Okay. She loves me. I'm gonna have blisters on my Jesus. shoulders. I should have worn a t-shirt. That was stupid of me. I was fine. It was just the walking part. And that's actually funny because I literally said to you, I was like, it's gonna be the walking part after that'll get ya. Well, I thought you were just saying that it'll be tiring. Not that I was gonna get lost. <laughs> And that fucking heat too, it's hot as hell. Tell me about it. I've been on a train for like four hours. Hello. 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 Carolina. Hi. Hi. I need a shower. Look at Shayla's hair. Look at Okay, I went grocery shopping and I realized I haven't showed you guys what I got yet. So I just wanted some food for the next like couple days. Um, breakfast and lunch mostly. So I got some pasta noodles, three bananas, some bread for toast, peanut butter for toast, um, these squashies candy, bolognese sauce, and these crunchy nut. Uh, cereal and then I also got some milk. All of that was nine pound, nine point nine pounds. Pretty good. That's like how much is that? I think fifteen bucks about. Yeah, it's like fifteen, almost sixteen dollars. 
which is pretty good. So that'll be like a week's worth of breakfast and lunch. And then I went for breakfast this morning, had the most questionable breakfast. It was like, <laughs> I literally ordered an egg and cheese sandwich. And I thought it was gonna be like a breakfast sandwich, but no, it was literally bread, not even toasted. <laughs> Shredded cheese and like egg. It was so weird. And then the rest of the day, I just edited a whole video. It's exporting now, which is just unheard of. I don't know how I edited it that fast, five hours. It's not the most crazy video ever. But yeah, I, now I kind of want to take a nap. It's 31 degrees. It is so hot. I need to turn that fan back on. As soon as I turned it off, I instantly felt clammy. But that's just like what I've been doing my first day here. Relaxing, getting work done. Also, have I told you guys even what I'm doing here? Um, my sister has been teaching in London for the past like six months and I'm staying in their apartment for like a week and a bit and then I'm going to Portugal and then I'm coming back for a couple days and then we're going to Turkey. Then I'm doing starting my solo travel so it was really nice to have like a place it's like a home base here where I'm not like in a hostel and I can kind of ease into the full-on travel life <laughs> and yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it it should be fun Inside of Buckingham Palace, 